Hello and welcome to Lightwaves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Sofern SC31 Pro. This is a USB Type-C 18650 rechargeable flashlight. Get this off Amazon for a total around $38.99. If there's sometimes a coupon, you might get around $35, so check it out. So Fern, pretty simple box, SC31 Pro, 5000 Kelvin. You can order direct from their site too, which is nice. If you don't mind waiting from China. Quality, innovation, value. There you go. All right, pretty simple setup. I took everything out of the box. So let's check it out. So in the box, we get a, I'm going to zoom down here. We have a Type-C to USB cable. I looks like to give you a fairly long one. I like this. Good little setup. There you are. Charge your flashlight. Nice. Next, they give you a lanyard to carry it with and a couple extra O-rings. Always good to see those. Now we have the SC31 Pro Manual. Now this is a book. This has a lot going on. <laughs> they didn't name it Pro for nothing, let me tell you. Amazing flashlight. When I first got it and I was playing with it without looking at the book, that was a mistake. <laughs> Gotta look at the book. So let's spend some time. I'm gonna flip through the pages. You can always pause and, and read it if I miss something. Uh, let's go ahead and start. So yeah, this thing's absolutely amazing what it can do. So we got technical parameters, moonlight to turbo. Looks like it says, what's that? One lumen to 2000 lumens. Absolutely amazing. Um, it says uh, running time, low brightness, longer running time. They don't really give that any detail, but I did figure out some times from estimations. I'm not gonna go over those. So there you are, some more basic stuff, information there. In case I forget to mention it, which I may. There's a lot of stuff to go over. Um, over here is operation instruction, quick start. There you go. Kind of go pretty slow here. Uh, there you are, so pretty neat. They give quite a bit of detail there. All right, so let's go ahead and go here. Now this is the UI diagram. It says not everything is covered in the diagram. Please read the text. Okay, so this is the diagram. If you guys need it, <laughs> bat check has a bat symbol <laughs> for the blinkers and strobes. Those are pretty cool. There you go. Auxiliary button LEDs. That's pretty neat. I was messing with that. All right, so here we go. We got uh, smooth ramping. We have stepped ramp. Turning the light on, ramp up and down. Turbo, moon, battery check. Stepped ramping. Momentary mode. That's pretty nice. Muggle mode, uh, you can set the flashlight to be user-friendly. 5 lumens to 240 lumens. Thought that was pretty nice. Electronic lockout, it's always good to have, right? So yeah, definitely quite a detailed book. We are spending some time on it, but we have to go over these. Blinkies and strobes. Um, you can check the voltage, which is neat. Battery check, it actually blinks out the voltage. Uh, sunset mode, slowly dims uh, to moon for an hour. That's pretty neat, then shuts off. It's got a beacon mode you can adjust. Temperature check. You can actually calibrate. Uh, you got candle mode, bike flasher, uh, party strobe, tactical strobe, lightning storm mode. There's your thermal configuration when the light will shut off from being overheated. Button LED. That's the seven clicks. So yeah, quite a bit to this flashlight. I think we're almost done with the book actually. So if you uh, are kind of stuck on the spot, just go ahead and rewind this video and here you are. <laughs> okay, let's get to the flashlight. The star of the show. Here it is. I'm going to zoom on down. You hear noises in the background? Yeah, it's snowing and the plow trucks are out. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and film this anyway. So for an SC31 Pro, our length is 4.5 inches. Our diameter is 7 eighths of an inch. So in millimeters, that's 115 millimeters in length and 22 millimeters in diameter. The weight is 59 grams empty. So add an extra 42 to 45 grams for our battery. Gives you a total idea there. Uh, let's do a size comparison. So I'll bring this back up. And I have other flashlights here. One I just reviewed, the SC31B. Nice little setup. And I have over here a Workos FC11. Now the FC11 I think is made by Sofern also. You can tell just by the make. Looks identical. With these side heat sink and everything. Yeah. And of course then we have batteries. We have a AA battery here. We have the battery that comes with the flashlight. It's a nice Sofern branded 3000 milliamp hour cell. I tested it, actually tested at 3150. 
Um, so definitely above capacity. That was nice to see. And then we have uh, Orbtronic Protected Cell, which it'll run off of. This is a button top unprotected. And we also have a flat top. I'll also run on flat top. So any of these three 18650s, it will run, which is great. So we'll bring these out of camera here. We might get to see those later on. All right, let's bring in a deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He can spin like no one can. That gives an idea for size. Okay, let's go over a quick feature list. So in the front, we have toughened glass lens with no coating. It's kind of interesting. Smooth reflector. LED down there is a luminous SST40. That's at 5000K color temperature. And a CRI of color rendering index, I think of around 70 or 75. Don't quote me on that. I saw it uh, posted. Somebody asked that question on this uh, product, I think on Amazon. But it gives you an idea there. Cool. Uh, 6061 aircraft grade aluminum with type 3 hard anodized finish. We love that. <laughs> it's the staple for fl good flashlights. Um, port on the back here is your type C with this nice heavy rubber jacket to keep it waterproof. This uh, is water resistant, IPX8 rated, so 2 meter uh, immersion for 30 minutes. That's pretty nice. And this jacket has to be tight. That's really snug fitting. So let's go ahead and get that back on there. So yeah, type C charging. I like that. Simply don't have to figure out which way the plug goes in. There we go. I get that seated right. Okay, cool. Top we have our switch. This does everything. <laughs> the Pro model has so many options, which we'll go over in a little bit. But yeah, amazing switch. Uh, it actually lights up, of course, when you plug the charger in. Turns red when you're charging and green when it's fully charged. And of course it has uh, different modes where it, it lights up. It can be like a, an ambient light so you can find your flashlight in the dark. You set it to be like on a low or a high setting. I'll show you those. Got a nice knurled finish. Enjoy that. Got this nice belt clip here. A tail cap is non-magnetic so there's no magnet here which is good. Um, sometimes some people don't want a magnet and I don't actually. I like it without a spot for your lanyard there. We'll open it up and uh, this, like I said, there's springs on both ends so it can accept both types or three types of the 18650s. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and put the Sofern branded battery in there. And we'll review a little bit of the light, how it works with the UI. It's a pretty neat setup. Go ahead and close this up all the way. All right, so it has what they call an, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Enderil UI. So uh, user interface is quite amazing on this thing. It does absolutely everything you can imagine. I like the standard mode. You saw a flash, that means it's been reset. Uh, you press, and then you press and hold, and it ramps up. Press and hold again, and it ramps back down all the way to one lumen. Goes all the way back up to a thousand lumens. And of course, to get to your turbo, you double click. So turn off the flashlight. You can enter uh, turbo from off by double clicking. So there you go. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I thought it was on the off. Nope. When the flashlight's on, excuse me. So there you go, turbo when the flashlight's on. It gets rather warm. This will probably throttle pretty quickly within a minute because uh, it will get rather hot at that setting. It does remember uh, last setting. So if you have this, say, medium setting, turn it off, turn it back on. It remembers medium, like in that setup. Now, another one to know, this is just handy features. Turn this on, three clicks while it's on. And now you're in step mode. And now it has, I think, six steps. Or seven. Well, yeah, seven steps. Double click to turbo. Double click, turn off turbo. So that's nice. And then you can uh, triple click again. Get back into your smooth ramp mode. So those are the important ones right there. That's all you really need to know about this flashlight. Stepped and smooth ramping. But there's a lot more to it. <laughs> Uh, turn the flashlight off. If you want to check the status of the battery, you triple click when the light's off. One, two, three. Let me just bring in my thing here. There we go. So it's flashing the voltage. So the first set of flashes is the first, and the second is the second digit. So this is, let's see. One, two, three, four, first number. Two is the second number. So 4.2 volts. So that's a pretty neat setup. And while you're in this mode, you're in the blinky mode. So if I do it again, two clicks, we're in a sunset mode. So now this will actually dim over an hour, all the way down to moonlight, and then turn off. If I do this again. We are in a beacon mode. You can actually adjust this. 
And remember your last setting. So if you have it higher, it'll be a higher, you know, intensity beam on the beacon. And we'll double tap again. We're back to the, uh, okay, this is temperature mode. So it's um, 30 degrees Celsius. So zero um, is a quick flash. And quick is 30. Yep, that's pretty neat. So yeah, it's in Celsius. Love that. Um, flashlight's off. If you want to get to the other strobe modes, you uh, two clicks and hold. And now we're in a uh, lightning mode. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Double click. Candle mode. See it changing there. Double click again. We're in a bike flasher mode. One more time. Now we're in a party mode. You can adjust these modes too by pressing and holding. So it goes faster and of course slower. It's pretty neat. And of course then we have tactical strobe. That's pretty intense. Highest setting. And we're back to lightning. Nice. Uh, so let's go to the garage and we'll cover some more features uh, on this flashlight. This is absolutely amazing. Let me just bring this back in. There we go. Get our color back. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll uh, go over some more features of this light. So, okay, let's take, take a look at some of these pictures I took in the garage. Now, I'm 15 feet away from the garage door. It's on the highest setting, the 2000 lumens. Uh, they didn't give a time rating, but expect about 30 minutes of use at, at this setting, turning it on and off for throttling. Uh, and this has a 200 meter throw. Next picture. We're at 1,000 lumens, expected to run about an hour and a half. Again, approximation. Now I turned it into muggle mode. And muggle mode is uh, six clicks from off. And this has a stated 240 lumens. This will run about nine hours. Then I kind of like went in between. And I figured this is around 100 lumens. And I expect 100 lumens to run about 20 hours on a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. And this last picture is at the bottom end of that muggle mode. This is five lumens, pretty usable still, uh, even though it looks dim in this picture. You'd expect the flashlight to run about 115 hours. Very nice. Let's go back to the table. This also has moonlight mode, the one lumen. Press and hold, enters the moonlight mode. And uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. So it's one lumen, and you expect this to run about 300 hours at this one lumen setting. And it's pretty, yeah, it's just enough to read in the dark. Uh, if you're looking at your flashlight and your eyes are adjusted, uh, that's perfect. You have this running for quite a long time. Um, this light always lights up too. And of course, the brighter you get, the brighter that, that light gets, as you can see. So let's go ahead and cover a few more things. Uh, so yeah, muggle mode with six clicks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, muggle mode. <laughs> then you hand it to your friend and go, okay, here you go. And then they don't blind themselves. So no turbo, let's turn it on, no turbo. Uh, it's got smooth ramping up to 240 and down to 5. So no moonlight. Turn it off. Long press. Doesn't do anything. Just turns the flashlight on. So muggle mode is kind of a neat setup. If you want to hand it to somebody, have them take off with it off the run. And so 3, 4, 5, 6 to turn it back to normal. Now we're back to normal. Go all the way up. 1,000 lumens and then turbo. Yeah. <laughs> Loving that. This is a great flashlight, by the way. I'm really enjoying it. I mean... I reviewed this one here, the SC31B, when it was 19 bucks, seemed like a bargain. Now it's like 25 or 27. Just spend an extra, what, 10 bucks and get the Pro, definitely. It's just, you get a better battery, a better flashlight, better LED in there. Yeah, you'll see the difference. I'll show you the LED contrast. Um, this has definitely got a better, better LED in it. Um, yeah, so it has a low voltage protection, which is nice. So if you're using your flat tops, don't worry about, you know, over discharging them. That's important. Uh, it also has reverse polarity protection and, of course, advanced temperature regulation, which is adjustable. Um, so if you, you want to set it to a lower margin, I think it's set at 45 degrees Celsius before it starts throttling. I think you can set it to 40 or up to 55. It gives you a range to work with, which is really nice. I love that, too. Uh, you saw you can check the voltage. It's got the lockout, four clicks for lockout. I think I have to show that to you. Uh, it does have a button LED. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you got this dim. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I might have messed that up. I think I entered muggle mode. Oh, I'm in momentary. So that's cool. So I, I did five instead of seven somehow. Um, so this is momentary mode. So if you go five clicks from off, it'll remember your last setting. And now this flashlight will be momentary. 
That is cool if you're signaling. Everybody knows how important momentary is on a flashlight. That is fantastic that it has that mode. So yeah, five clicks from off. To reset it, you have to unscrew that battery and it flashes to reset it. Did remember though the button LED, so let's change that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now it's on high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It goes to blink. So you can find it in the dark. Some people would like to just run that. I'm sure it'll run for quite a long time with this battery. Three, four, five, six, seven, and it should turn it off. So there you go. There's still quite a bit to this thing. I love it. I love I love just all the fun things you can do with it. Uh, plus it's all self-contained with its own charger. So let's go ahead and do a little demo, and then we'll do some final thoughts. Uh, I'll bring in the this guy here. Let's see, setting it on. Okay, we'll leave it there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do a little demo of these two lights in action. That gets bright. <laughs> right about there. Okay, so turn off the lights here, and then we'll do some final thoughts. So right away you can see a color difference. Uh, this light here has a warmer appearance, um, and this is definitely cooler. It's probably like 6,500 or 6,000 Kelvin. I'll bring them in together, give you an idea. Yeah, you can see the difference there. And beam pattern, the beam pattern on the Pro is much better in my right hand. So there's that. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Now let's go ahead and aim this at the ceiling, and we'll go ahead and ramp it up. Go up to 1,000 lumens. Double click turbo, 2000 lumens. It lights up the whole room. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, off turbo, go back down, all the way down to almost at, I would say, 10 lumens. And now we're down to one lumen. Back up to probably about 50 lumens. So there you go. Pretty neat. Smooth ramping. I love that. Uh, and then the FC11 Workos, if you want to see that in action. It has, I think, a little bit softer beam. Let me see if I got it too low. Let's turn it up. There we go. It has a slightly more neutral color. It has more yellow tint to it, probably a higher CRI. That's right. The color index of the FC11 is much higher, but you just don't have the flexibility that the Pro has over here. So there we are. Turn that off. Long press off. Got to remember the different modes these the flashlights have. Let's go ahead and turn that back. And we'll ramp that down. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn the lights on here. Do some final thoughts on the SC31 Pro, so fern. Yeah, so number one, I'm liking the fact of all the options this has. I'm go ahead and zoom it in even closer, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm loving the, the beam pattern. The LED is really nice. Um, UI, Type-C charging. Um, the whole look of the flashlight's really nice. Uh, being able to use my reclaimed 18650s. These were like 90 cents a piece. These are 2600 mAh. And uh, yeah, you gotta love the fact that you can reuse these and uh, don't have to worry about overcharging or discharging them because the smart circuit in here. Uh, loving that. Definitely cool. <laughs> loving it and cool, my main words. You guys know that. Uh, but for the money, go out and run. Run out and grab one. You're not gonna hate it. You're gonna love it. Uh, can't, can't talk much about this. This is just one of the best 18650 flashlights I own. I think it's the best one. I mean, I really like this Workos FC11. But uh, this, I think, trumps it for overall capability. Um, I just I love the fact that you can put it in all those different modes. Um, yeah, I think it covered all that. It just does quite a bit for, for the money. I mean, yeah, loving the UI. I mean, I have this one here. This uh, I didn't bring it out. This is the that was the Convoy. This has the Biscotti firmware. This is kind of neat because it has 12 different groupings you can pick, but nothing like this. Not the smooth ramping. Uh, doesn't have all the battery checks. I mean, it has a battery check, but it's like four level, and that's it. Um, but you you get what you pay for. I think this was like seventeen bucks or something from China. But uh, here, yeah, you're definitely getting a lot for your money. <laughs> all right, cool. So if you enjoyed the video, give a big like. You guys are the best. Run out and get one. Got links below. Check them out. If it goes on sale, or I find a coupon code for it or a special uh, offer from the company. I'll put it in the comments section for you guys too, because uh, they definitely are promoting these flashlights. They're uh, brand new, I believe, the pro version for the us flashaholics, right? <laughs> I don't like that term. I like the term flashlight lover. <laughs> I love my flashlights. You'll notice most of those guys who have lineups, you know, pictures of all their collection, they'll have like ten of these, you know, flashlights in their thing, from the little ones to the big ones. And I like every one of the Soferns I've bought. Every single one. 
has been fantastic for the money. So there you are. Uh, if you want to see more reviews and comparisons of this brand, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of those future videos. And three, comment below. We think about the SC31 Pro. Would you rather have the um, cheaper model, the SC31B, after seeing what this is capable of? Or are you just in the market for something like a Workos FC11 with a magnetic base? Um, this one has a 3000 milliamp hour battery. And this is also Type-C charged, by the way, and IPX8 waterproof. But it has that simple mode, but does have high CRI. If that's important to you, might go the Workos route. But uh, yeah, I'll have links to these down below there for you to check out. But the Pro definitely wins it in my book out of all three of these. I'd rather have this one. Once I've learned that uh, UI, it rocks. So there it is. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.